Yeah, it's a shock. We, we lost a good person. We really have. Tonight's top story, a village still in shock. A Greenwich man is dead after a Washington County Sheriff's cruiser strikes him while crossing the road. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Benita Zahn. And I'm Jim Cambrick. State police are investigating the tragic accident which killed an elderly man and placed a sheriff's deputy on administrative leave. It happened late last night on Route 29 in, the Green in Greenwich. Matt McFarland has tonight's top story live from the newsroom. Matt? Good evening there, Benita. Well, it seems like everyone we talked with today in Greenwich had nothing but good things to say about James O'Malley, describing him as an outgoing and friendly man who was killed just a few feet from his home. Barbara Buzz Spezio says you'd be hard-pressed to find someone in Greenwich that didn't know James O'Malley. Jim, uh, anytime you see him, he's very nice. Everybody loved him in town. That's why for many in this close-knit village, it's so hard to come to grips that O'Malley is gone. Police say around 1040 Wednesday night, the 83-year-old was struck and killed by a county sheriff's cruiser. Behind the wheel, Deputy Donald Rich, who was on routine patrol. O'Malley was crossing Main Street, better known as Route 29, and heading back to his house. He had just stopped at the Stewart's across the street. It was a shock, yeah, it was a shock. I mean, the guy was just walking across the street to get some donuts, I understand. Terry Gilchrist worked with O'Malley for years at the old S&T paper mill, adding that he still worked at Carmody Ford, showing up every day, running out and picking up parts. Afterwards, he'd head over to the Green Acres Tavern. This is the beer James drank, Jimmy. And uh, so we're all having a beer for Jimmy. Going to miss him a lot. Missing the 83-year-old man whom the staff lovingly nicknamed Youngster. He'd come in after work every day and uh, just sit here and we'd have a conversation and we'd pick on him and he'd pick on us. Back at his Main Street barber shop, Spezio says the village won't be the same. You, you don't find any guy any better than him. You know, I look for him at night when I go by and he's always sitting out on his porch and I wave to him. And he's always sociable. The state police collision reconstruction unit is investigating last night's accident. As for the deputy, the Washington County Sheriff's Office says he's been placed on administrative leave pending the outcome. Reporting live from the newsroom, Matt McFarland, News Channel 13.